I'm Sarah Woodbury, and today we are taking a quick trip to Roach Castle. I'm standing in front of Castle Roach. This is an English castle built at the end of the Pale, which is the English controlled area of Ireland. Actually, it's, to tell you the truth, it's way outside the Pale. Roach Castle is located in Ireland, northwest of Dundalk. The current castle was built by the Verdun family, namely a woman, Rohija, in 1236 as part of the Norman conquest of Ireland that began in 1169. Bertram der Verdun arrived in Ireland for the first time with Prince John, son of Henry II, before he became king. John had been declared Lord of Ireland by his father in 1177, though he didn't arrive in Waterford until 1185, at which point Verdun was granted lands and built his first castle. John's visit did not go well, mostly because John managed to offend all the native Irish leaders by laughing at their looks and promising his Norman barons their land. In addition, he developed an antagonism for Hugh de Lacy, who held the Lordship of Meath and was the most powerful Norman in Ireland. The Verduns managed to navigate these allegiances successfully for centuries, in part because their castle was positioned strategically on the frontier, overlooking a pass into South Armagh between territory controlled by the native Irish and the Pale, the area of Eastern Ireland the Normans had conquered. There's an underground, very wet room in the corner of the castle. Rumor had it that there was a secret tunnel underneath this castle to an outpost tower in case they ever needed to escape. I'm inside the wall walk at Castle Roach. I had to do quite a lot to get up here, so. This is the great hall from the back side. The castle was ruined by Cromwell, but the gatehouse, outer bailey, and inner curtain wall remain. Castle Roach means Castle of the Rock, and it is still situated in a somewhat remote location with spectacular views of the surrounding landscape. In 1294 Ireland, this castle is owned by Theobald de, de Verdun and his wife Marjorie de Bohun, who is the sister of Humphrey de Bohun, one of the great marcher lords in England. All that is left of the curtain wall at Castle Roach are grass-covered mounds. They go in a straight line. You can still see that this was the wall, but you don't have very much left. Robbie Bruce and James Stewart visit Castle Roach in Outpost in Time. This is Karen and I approve of this castle. Thanks for watching my video. 
You can click on the playlist or subscribe to my channel to see more. There will be a new video next week. If you want to check out my books, click on the link to my webpage.